Our city of San Fernando does not support the high-speed rail, and it is important that this board recognizes and realizes the devastation and destruction. I've stated before, in the United Voices, collectively, we say Governor Brown's legacy will be displacement, destruction, and devastation. And if you just give me a minute, I knew I would lose this. I want to give you some. We continue to be, first off, I want to let everyone in the audience know our city is 2.4 square miles, 24, approximately 24,000 in population. I had a city council meeting last night at 11 o'clock, but I was determined to be here today. We continue to be concerned with the proposed high-speed rail line economic impacts to our local economy based on the potential loss of 1.3 million in annual general, general fund revenue from property tax, sales tax, and business license fees. I haven't heard anyone from high-speed rail tell us how you're gonna make it up to our city. I understand Burbank and Glendale, they're getting a whole bunch of money, EIRs and what have you and uh, we know how that can go. Additionally, there is a potential loss of approximately 850 local jobs from the taking of adjacent properties for needed rail, uh, road right away, and or relocation of businesses due to reduced accessibility to businesses in the immediate vicinity of the proposed route. We continue to be concerned with the social, economic, and community impacts that the San Fernando community will experience as it relates to the physical divide created by a high-speed rail line infrastructure pro uh, project that passes through a predominantly Latino working class community with no high-speed rail line station access. Disruption of the physical makeup of the community. Walls, where else have we heard about these big walls, beautiful walls, great walls? And that's what's being proposed for our community, is to divide us with these huge walls. Adverse economic impacts to the community by uh, increasing physical separation of the downtown area and neighboring civic uses from the neighboring commercial, industrial, and institutional, and residential land uses that exist on both sides of the existing railroad uh, right of way and proposed route. Elimination of open space in the form of the bike pathway, which by the way, I think it was completed just recently for a few million dollars. Nothing like spend, uh, you know, spending taxpayers money and then destroying it. Located along existing uh, railroad right of way and potential impacts to the Cesar Chavez Memorial, which further reduces public access to already limited park recreation open space uh, areas within the city. I have a lot more, but you get the gist of where I'm coming from and uh, representing the community of the uh, city of San Fernando. And of course, we're very concerned about Pacoima, Silmar, and everyone along that SR14 route. Uh, I, I guess I'm raining on the parade here because I just cannot believe all these great things that people are saying and how wonderful it's going to impact their city. But can, can you stop the excitement and look at all the people that are going to be negatively and cities and communities impacted by this horrible decision that is going to cost billions more than we actually approved of? Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. <clears throat> Our next.